All right, I apologize for, you know, it's all dark out inside, but I just could not wait uh, to get an update. I shot an update video uh, like a few days ago, but I just never got around to um, to getting it posted. Um, so that, yeah, it's my fault. I'm just not very good. I'm not very good with that, just coordinating myself. Uh, but uh, I'll make a little update video right now. I can't do a, you know, start and rev, um, because it's kind of dark outside and neighbors would get all pissed off. I can at least, you know, show, I can show it in half-assed lighting. So, um, start from the top and go down into the back, I guess. So I got a new kill switch wire, um, nothing fancy. Uh, my phone mount here, um, and I threw out the cache and I, I got myself a front brake a front mad dog brake kit. I also had to get that fork. So that's the lever that came with that. Got a light. Uh, and here's uh, here's my custom 3D printed um, cable clamp. Well, actually someone made it and that's what it says on there. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Um, actually, I discovered that it actually has uh, HD bearing cups. I discovered that a few days ago, which I was actually pleased with. Uh, came yeah it must have come, came like that and then now the real the real shit got uh, mad dog bothy red forks and they look so good it's dirty right now because it's freaking washington state and it's raining as frick got a standard mad dog break mad dog break disc i've been using it i just got it you know working like today and i took it out and had a lot of fun i really want to rev it but i'm afraid neighbors get all pissed off that's just gonna have to wait. It's so much better. I'm so glad I spent like $130 or I don't know, $100 or whatever, how much it costs to get all this stuff, the DDM front brake kit in the in the force. I'm so glad I got it because it stops on a dime. And like uh, Derek Short said, um, not only will it stop on a dime, but you'll have change. Ha! Freaking dick slapper. In the back, this standard deck um or whatever this is this does not look like an actual goped deck there's no i don't know it's kind of weird maybe it's just that old or something yeah, but it, it's all right it's grip tape and stuff okay got this light that kind of works but the battery's dead so it just won't stay running um my vent tube um ada vented gas cap DDM Racing 1.5 liter tank cover, 1.5 liter tank. I got some red anodized stainless steel. I'm not sure you can see the top one in there. Got a red anodized stainless steel gas tank mounting hardware. Actually, can't see it because the cover's there, uh, which that's really nice. Um, got that rear tire. Got that aluminum DDM. Uh, I think it's a 76 tooth sprocket, rear sprocket new chain i had to buy the 30 dollar 31 dollar d um dark souls chain breaker and didn't even come with the dark souls graphic on it which i was really uh, disappointed <laughs> Nah, i'm just kidding it's fine i've got a nine tooth um i think it's an ada sprocket ada chain tensioner and i was actually kind of disappointed with this chain tensioner it needed lubrication uh where where it pivots here um in order to function properly so i had to take the damn snap rings off this, well, I'd take that snap ring off and kind of, kind of marred it up a little bit, and I, I just wish it would. You know, I spent sixty bucks on that, so I just be great if that would have came ready to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about the lighting; it's terrible. I will get a better video eventually. Um, but also that that white, uh, the plastic um, wheel there, uh, it was too. It was uh, moved out too far and it was hitting this clutch housing, so I had to put it in my vise, and um, I had to move it back a little bit. That was easy, but again, I paid $60 for that. I want that to work like immediately when I put it on my scooter, basically. <sighs> anyway, mini rant over. Standard GoPad uh, fender sticker on there. Um, KD Racing, DDM, and Outerwares. I have an Outerwares pre-filter with a Canon, um, just 
air filter. I'm, I, I'm assuming that you can see the K9 logo throughout there. Okay. Um, I, I uh, got a Walbro 1107 carb on there, or, you know, 1107, I don't know. Uh, I got this really jank cable setup going here. It's really, really jank, um, but it does work. Um, oh, also, uh, I got an Earth Surfers product uh, ported, a G43L uh, engine ported cylinder, um, and I got it on sale for like 20 bucks less, so I'm happy about that. And it's kind of half ass pipe. It has cracks and a hole in there. Um, it does work, but you know, yeah, it's really dirty. It's dude, it's just it's nasty out in Washington. Um, what else? So billet, black uh, anodized or I don't know, just black billet GDM pole start thingy. I don't know. Actually, this fits better than the stock one. So not only does it, you know. Yeah, actually, you can't really. It looks pretty similar to stock, but not only does it, you know, kind of look nicer, but it actually fits better. So that's somewhat practical. Um, uh, okay, I'll start it up, but I can't rev it. That's probably a warm start. It's a little bit warm. Uh, okay, I did rev it. Uh, as you could hear. Um, if you hear what a normal normal clutch sounds like, this one is a modified clutch. I I had actually right in that shed there, used the drill press and drilled out holes in a in the clutch that so will give them a, more of a mechanical advantage to the spring. Now the clutch it engages at a higher RPM, which is awesome. Um, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but. I cracked my clutch housing. Boo hoo. So, oh, yeah, so I'm gonna show off Trevor Simpson engine. But it's not, I don't think it's really um, Trevor Simpson port anymore because it got it has that Earth Surfers products uh, cylinder on there. Um, yeah, look how jank this cable setup is. It's got a zip tie going around the ignition cable, and I think I'm gonna try to change the way I, how I route that cable. Um, but yeah, I hope I got most of the good angles. Like if you want to see the, the 88 chain tensioner, you just want to see a good look at it. Because I know when I watch videos of other people filming their go-peds or whatever, uh, they just, they film it in fucking vertical mode like this and they do just a shit terrible job. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's cold out here. It's my, that's not two stroke smoke, it's my breath. Um, yeah, I really, I, I like that I got the red forks. Definitely matches with the with the rear. Um, yeah, so terrible update video. Someone's revving anyway. Signing off.